This is Florian with another stop of Tour de Animate. We are all familiar with online configurators, where you can customize items, for example, by changing the colors of a product. With this more complex sample, we bring the idea behind such configurators to Adobe Animate CC, featuring a reusable color picker component and dynamic shape color changes. So, let's have a look at the final configurator sample. As we can see here, we have three different parts that we can customize. And let's pick the shirt for now. And on the right-hand side, we can select the color that we like. And when we click it, um, the color gets changed on this shape here. And um, we can see that it not only uses the color that we selected, but also dynamically creates um, the darker color for the sides. And of course, this works for all the other colors as well. So to make it a little more exciting, we have used a vector character with a 3D look as the customizable item. And I created this character in Maxon's Cinema 4D. And it's basically a camera orbiting around this character to create the animation. And we exported the single frames from this animation as vector shapes to be able to access the color information in Adobe Animate CC. So let's jump into Animate CC. And we can see right away that we have this character movie clip here. And we can see that all the frames of the animation are on the timeline here. And those are all vector shapes, as said before. And of course, you could use um, Animate CC's onboard vector creation tools to create your own artwork. And the um, scripts will work on those just as fine. So back on the main timeline, let's select the color selector and double click. And we can see here that the color wheel is actually just a bitmap. So you can choose any bitmap source that you like to select the color from, and the script will dynamically pick the color from any bitmap source. So since this is a little bit more of a complex sample, we of course have some scripting going on. And on frame one here, if we right click, we can open up the actions panel. And the good thing is that you can really use the power of JavaScript here, which means that you can, of course, use custom scripts and your own scripts that you can create in here. But you also have the ability to um, load external JavaScript libraries, such as Chroma.js, for example, which we loaded in this case. So down here, we um, select the different uh, parts that we want to be able to change by their respective color codes. And then down here, um, starting at line 79, um, the actual recoloring takes place. So the normal shapes that we defined above are recolored based on the color picked. And then we use the external library, which is Chroma.js in this case, uh, which has the darken method, which gives you the chance to create a darker version of the color that you picked before. And the color picked before uh, was uh, selected using our color selector component, which is in here. And be sure to download this sample to be able to see how this really works here. And um, of course, you can use this color selector component in your own projects as well. So with this sample, you get highly reusable components like the customizer script and the custom color picker. And we're really excited to see the other use cases that you can come up with. So go right ahead and download this free sample, which is just one of the many free samples on Tour de Animate. Happy animating.